Hello everyone, welcome to Apache Edge 4 minute videos for developers. In this video, we're going to see how Apache Edge access control policy works and how you can able to restrict access to APIs based on client IP address. Myself, Anil Sagar, I work at Google and Apache platform. Prerequisites for this video, you need Apache Edge account. You can sign up at apache.com slash edge. You need basic understanding of Apache API proxy. For that, you can refer season one, episode three, API proxy concept video. Let's see how we can able to restrict uh, access to your APIs based on a client IP addresses. By creating a simple proxy in Apache Edge and attaching a policy like access control policy. Let's say you have an IP address 192.168.1.2 using which you are trying to access a backend API and you have one more IP address 192.168.1.4 which is again trying to access the same backend API. Let's say you want to allow access uh, to the backend API whenever the request comes from 1.4 and you want to deny whenever a request comes from 1.2. You can able to do that using simple policy like access control policy in Apache Edge. As you can see here, I'm logged into apache.com slash edge uh, under the organization Apache Forum v 40 Once you are logged in, click on develop and then click on API proxies to access the list of API proxies. Once you are in that page, click on API proxy button on top right hand side to create a new proxy. In this video, we're going to use a simple backend API HTTP bin.org slash get and try to proxy that in Apache Edge and see how we can able to control client access based on IP address. Choose reverse proxy, click next. Give the proxy name as uh, access control demo and I'm going to say base path as slash v1 slash acl life and demo. Choose the existing API as uh, HTTP colon slash slash HTTP bin dot org slash get. Choose next. Choose the authorization as pass through. Choose the default virtual host and uh, deploy to test environment and then quickly build and deploy. Once proxy is deployed, you can able to access the same backend API using Apache API proxy. When, once you click on uh, the Apache URL, you can see the same response from HTTP bin dot org. Let's see how to control uh, access to this API based on IP address. To use access control policy and uh, uh, restrict uh, client access based on IP, click on preflow, click on plus step, choose access control policy, and then you can able to uh, modify the default template to allow or deny uh, access to the client based on IP address. Let's say I want to deny access to my own public IP. So I'm gonna say, match rule action deny and mask as 32 bit so that it matches the entire IP without any wildcard. I'm going to find my public IP by making a simple curl call. As you can see, this is my public IP. And let's say uh, I will deny access to this particular API if the API call comes from my particular IP. Click on save. And once the proxy is saved, quickly go to the trace uh, to see the policy in action. And uh, let me try to make an API call. So I'll take this particular URL and try to access same. As you can see, I see the error access denied for client IP. And you can also be able to see the same in the trace window. As you can see, the access control policy got executed and it raised uh, the error saying that for this particular IP, this API access is not allowed. Similarly, you can able to change uh, the policy to quickly modify the behavior of the API. Let's say I want to allow access now uh, for my particular IP and deny for rest uh, everyone else. So click on save. So once the API is saved, you can able to access the backend API from this particular IP and for all remaining clients, it will be denied. As you can see, the proxy got saved. Now let's try to access the same API. As you can see, now I see the response uh, from HTTP bin.org slash get. You can able to change the mask to have the white cards. For example, if you say 24 bit, then uh, the API calls from all the clients, uh, 111.2223.107.0 star will be allowed. If you make it a 16 bit, then 111.2223.0 star, star will be allowed. If you say 8 bit, then it will be triple one dot star dot star dot star will be allowed. Basically, these are based on CIDR notation, and you can able to even define multiple rules. Say that allow from this particular IP, but deny from some other IP. You can also do that. For more details regarding this policy, please refer to the documentation. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to post questions in comment.apache.com. Thank you for watching this video and subscribe to YouTube channel to get notified uh, if any future videos.